Hi, I'm John Storms, and today we're going to talk about Queen Mary Vamp plugins. So, what these are, are these are libraries of software that are used to essentially break down music, right? Um, think of all the kids that, that go to college to study music. I'm an engineer, so the, the thought is unfathomable to me, but apparently this really happens. People go to school and they learn about music. And, um, you know, inevitably, they're going to use computers to help break down music, to find beats, to find notes, to do all of these things that I, I can't even imagine, right? Now, where uh, this is interesting is you can use these Queen uh, Mary Vamp plugins to help you uh, find the beats in your music, to find where the notes begin. And it's really useful for sequencing and it saves you a lot of time. It's not perfect. It doesn't get you all the way, uh, but it can help get you close, right? Um, and if you understand how the, uh, how the actual plugins work, um, you know, you can do more with them, but it takes a little bit of time and practice to play with them and experiment with them. Um, and it's these plugins are not just for X lights, they're also for Audacity, and a whole range of applications can take advantage of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna we're gonna talk about this now. Most people get exposure to this, at least on the X light side, is that when you go to the X lights download page, right you scroll down here and here they have uh qm vamp plugins for 32-bit windows right so this is talking about you know 32-bit windows and you know most people if you're especially if you're on windows 10 or windows 11 you're on 64-bit but anyway but you can actually go on to google okay and do a search for queen mary vamp plugins okay um, and you're gonna eventually come to the Queen Mary site okay which is this site this is the real site for Queen Mary vamp plugins and I would take some time to, to go explore here a little bit right they tell you about what what it is and how they do it and if you're inclined you can go in and also develop your own they have a little SDK you can use they have a wiki for instructions uh, you can have a lot of fun with it right um so if you and you know if you go through here you can read this is how the note onset detector works this is how the tempo and beat tracker works um and there's documentation right uh you gotta imagine kids in college have you know done doctorates on this or master's degrees and you know they have to base it on something right so anyway there's a lot of good information there and you can you can learn a lot and if you have certain things you use on a regular basis it makes sense to uh, to read up on it but anyway <clears throat> we all know we're not going to do that right we're all going to be uh, running for the uh, for the download page page for more information go here and it takes us to this page now here we can find links to the downloadable vamp plugins okay so you click on this okay and you can get a vamp plugin pack okay so this these come together as they say in a nice convenient bundle right so if you click on this right you pick which one you want if you're a mac linux windows 32 windows 64 i am windows 64 and it shows you everything that's in there right so you get the ones from queen mary but you also get all of these other stuff with it so anyway we go, we download this, all right, and it downloads this little executable. Do, do, do. And actually, I've already downloaded it, so instead of waiting for it to finish, I can just double click it. Yes, do all the terrible things to my computer you want to do. And then it has this installer, right? And you can say, you know, click them all install everything right and you can go through here and pick what what you want to add and i just say boom install it all okay now um if so what that has done on my computer if i go to c 
I believe it's here. Yes. So I go to, you know, my C drive, I go to program files, and now I have a directory called vamp plugins, right? You see all this stuff is here and it talks about all the different, all the different plugins I have available. So now I can make use of these. Now, if I want to use them in Audacity, right? I fire up Audacity. Okay. <clears throat> I go up here to analyze and up here it says add, remove plugins. Okay. And then I can see all the plugins that I can see. Now, how can it see it? Is because it can see the plugins in my um, in that directory. And I can go through here and I can say, well, yeah, I want pitch detector. Enable that. I want silent test, whatever that is. I want bar and beat everything. Give me those. Boom. I hit OK. And now I go up to analyze and you see all those things are there. So if I load up an MP3, I can use this to create label files. And label files from Audacity can be pulled directly into Xlites. Now, if I'm using Xlites, fire up Xlites, you get some cool stuff. So Xlites. Uh, makes it so it it automatically uses the Queen, um, the the Vamp plugins, right? <clears throat> so if I go over to Sequencer, I'm gonna skip upgrading this time, and I'm gonna open up a sequence. Just grab any. Well, I'm not gonna be playing anything. Uh, let's see. Let's pull in. Christmas camp. Ba -ba -ba. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. Okay. There we go. Okay, so up here are my timing tracks, right? So if I right click, I can say add timing track. And it says, you know, well, what kind of timing track do you want? And look at all of this. Right now, these timing tracks, well, it's kind of like the Beat Wizard in Lightorama, right? It will automatically uh, give you a timing track based on this algorithm, except instead of just being able to do beats, you got everything. You got all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> There's one in here. You know, you got note onset detector, which is a really common one. You got multiple options for beats and tempo, onset, onset curve, polyphonic transcription, which is a fun one to do. Um, there's even one in here that's hard to find. It talks about percussion. It's a per onset detector for percussion. Where did that go? That's one. That's a fun one to play with. But, you know, you got all of these things in here that you can use. Now, you know, some of them come with, um, you know, settings, right? So if I do this, it'll say, okay, here are the different settings. Like, what's my beats per minute, right? And you can actually look up the beats per minute on a song. But here's a place where, you know, it's good to play with it, right? Um, you know, some of these are more useful than others. Right. You know, some of them aren't useful at all. Others are very useful. Others work better in certain songs and so on. Um, but you can go back to that uh, the Queen Mary Vamp plugins page and actually read up on them and get a better idea of what these all these different parameters are. So you can better use it for your for your stuff. But that is how you download Queen Mary Vamp plugins and, and use them. Now, this is the plugin pack. Okay, and here you can go to installation instructions, and it says, for example, if you're 64-bit Windows, what it says is it says put, and the, the plug-in pack basically came with a bunch, and it stuck it in the right place. And the nice thing is, is that it goes and creates the directory for you, right? So you can see for 64-bit plugins, it puts it in program files, vamp plugins, and... Did I close my, yeah, it did. I closed my file explorer. If I go to that directory, I go to C, program files, vamp plugins. See, it created the directory and it populated it with this stuff 
uh, from the get-go, right? But now if I want to add more, I can download more and just stick them in that same directory, right? All you got to do is put them in that directory, and then the programs that are using VAMP plugins will find it there. And then for Mac OS, it tells you what to do, for 32-bit Windows, it what to do, and so on, right? They're all a little bit different, right? But that means if I can go, you know, here's all the plugins, right? Even more than what came with my, um, with uh, that plugin pack. Now here it tells you if it's included in the plugin pack or not, right? So, you know, you can go and you can read up and say, hey, you know, this one thing here, it's not included with the plugin plaque, but spectral visualization and feature extraction plugins from the Mazurka project is exactly what I need, then off you go. And there's more information here. I get, you know, they're talking about the different um, the visualizations that they have. But there's all sorts of things that um, that you can you can look at and play with, and then you just stick them in that directory, and it will find them. So anyway, that's a quick overview of Vamp plugins. Again, this is uh, helpful in sequencing from a timing point of view for creating timings. Again, it's not gonna do it for you, but it will be. Uh, it's a yet another aid.